Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this video, we are going to make Windows 11 computer way faster than earlier. Trust me, after doing these very simple and powerful steps, your computer performance will be drastically changed. So let's get started. So here, in the start icon, just do a right click and then go to settings. And at the left hand side, we need to click on system. Now here, in system, you will find storage. So just click on that and here you will find storage management. Turning on this storage sense will incredibly make the computer faster because it will automatically free up the space, delete the junks, temporary files, the registry. All the junk will be removed automatically if we turn on this storage sense. By default, it is turned off and you need to turn it on manually. So once you turn it on, you just need to leave that and it will be very good. And it will be very good for the computer. Once this is done, in the same window, we need to look for privacy and security. Now I'll click on that. And here, we just need to scroll down and look for diagnostic and feedback. So if I click on that, by default it is turned on and make sure you turn it off send optional diagnostic data so if you do not want to send the diagnostic data to microsoft to improve the experience windows experience you can turn it off now at the left hand side you need to click on gaming and you will find game mode now here make sure it is turned on so whether you play games or not it will optimize your pc for better performance so make sure this is turned on once this is done we will move to the next step. At the left hand side, look for the system again. Click on that and scroll it down and look for power and battery. So I'll click on that. Now here, I'll scroll it down. At the right hand side, you will find best performance, balanced and best power efficiency. So if it's selected to best power or balanced, make sure you select best performance. And once this is done, I'll just close this window. Now we need to disable few Windows services which we do not require. And by disabling those services, it will definitely increase the performance of your computer if your computer is running slow or even it's, if it's booting slow. Please do a right click in the start icon and then click on run. Once you click on run, a new window will appear like this. And here we need to type services.msc. Let me maximize it for you. So once you have typed it, click on OK. And a new window will appear. So I'll just maximize this. So if you do not connect your Windows computer to smart TVs or refrigerators, just do a right click, go to properties, and from manual to select disable, and then apply, and then OK. Now another service which we need to disable is connected user experience and telemetry. If you do not want to send the background experience or the date diagnostic data to Microsoft, you can simply disable it. And for that, just do a right click, go to properties, select disable, apply and OK. So we don't actually require it. You can disable that. Once this is done, we need to disable another service, remote desktop service. If you don't connect your computer to remote, then you can disable this service. And for that, you just know the process. Do a right click, go to properties, and then click on disable, then apply, and then OK. You just need to select downloads map manager. And if it's manual or automatic, then just change it by just doing a right click, then properties, and then change it from automatic or manual to disable and then apply and OK. Next step which I'm going to share is really very powerful and it will drastically change the performance of your computer. And for that, we just need to do a right click in the start icon and then go to settings. And here at the left hand side, you will find accessibility and then you will find visual effects. Now by default, this transparency and animation effects is turned on. If your goal is for the best performance, I would recommend to turn off the transparency effect as well as the animation effect. 
So this will actually put off, this will release a lot of load from the CPU and the performance of your computer will be better. Your CPU will not be used to create the effects and it will give you a better performance. So now we just need to do a right click on the start icon again and then we need to go to task manager. So whatever the applications which you think is not required, you can disable it by just doing a right click and then click on disable. Make sure you do not disable the graphics or Windows security, etc. So in this manner, when you will restart the computer, those applications will not be automatically turned on. So this is a really good thing to do. Once this is done, I'll just close this window and then we just need to do a right click on the start icon again and click on run. And here we need to type clean MGR. So once you have typed clean M so once you have typed it, hit OK and it will open up the disk cleanup for Windows C. Now here make sure you select all the check marks. With this disk cleanup, we can delete all the junks, all the temporary files and the registries which is there in the computer. All these things you do not require it and it is created by the system. So it's absolutely fine to delete them. So once you check mark, just click on OK and you will be able to get rid of all the junks and it will make the computer faster. So the next step to speeding up the PC is you need to press window and R or you can simply do a right click on the start icon and then click on run and this time we need to type appvis.cpl. So once you have typed it, hit OK and it will open up programs and features. Now here you need to uninstall all unwanted applications by just doing a right click or by just selecting it and clicking on and clicking on uninstall. Now this will increase the performance of your computer as well as it will free up the space of your computer. So it's really a good thing to do because if you have too many unwanted applications in the startup, they will keep on using the resources of your computer. So things, applications which you do not know, look at the publisher here Search it online if you do not know what exactly those applications are and then uninstall it. Once this is done, there is one more important step which most of us know but don't do it. And for that, I'll just close it. And here in the search bar, we just need to type Windows and you will find Windows Update Settings. Now, it is a very good practice to update your windows because when you update your windows, your older system file gets replaced to the fresh files and the performance of your computer gets better, the security of the computer gets better. So once this is done, you just need to restart the computer and let me know in the comment section how exactly it was, has it changed the performance of your computer or not and please hit the like and subscribe. I'm really working hard for you guys and I really need your support. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.